Gavin was just telling me about a new wafer level probing system which was developed in conjunction with Agilent Technologies. Can you tell me a little bit about this system? I'll certainly try. Um, so Cascade Microtech has worked very closely with Agilent for, for many years um, to provide you know, partnered solutions, uh, but it's never been formal in any way up till now. We came together uh, to produce the uh, wafer level measurement solution that we've got behind us today. So what you're looking at here is our wafer level measurement solution uh, designed for device characterization up to 110 gigahertz. Uh, so the solution is capable of uh, making both uh, DC measurements down at femtor le level performance and also um, RF measurements uh, up to 100 from uh, 10 megahertz up to 110 gigahertz. Um, this solution is just one of the, the many packages that we provide as part of our wafer level measurement solution. So the system provides um, micron level positioning uh, for our RF probes in order to get the very best calibration. So you can see we can use the Z control and X and Y as, as you'd expect. Um, so at the moment I'm, I'm using this measurement tool on the screen in order to get appropriate position of the probes. Uh, often we'd use a second marker to, to get the outer limits of movement. So with this particular configuration, um, as we go up to 110 gigahertz, we actually have these um, uh, fairly considerable um, frequency extenders. Uh, which are, are attached to the uh, PNA instrument at the back of the machine and the millimeter wave controller at the bottom. Um, due to the geometry of these, we want to keep uh, the, the geometry between the uh, test port and the probe fixed uh, for stability reasons. So we actually move the entirety of the test head along with the probe whilst we're making our uh, micron positioning. We do these using the, the lead screws on the machine. The system is um, equipped with an eView3 microscope. Uh, this allows us to do instantaneous uh, changes in magnification uh, without actually doing any mechanical movement to the internals. Focus controls are, are, are here as such. And then the microscope can be very quickly moved out the way. And we can move the remove the objective so we can get very easy access to the test environment. So down here uh, we have a pair of our Infinity 110 gigahertz AM probes. The AM is a reduced coax version uh, which we use to get uh, the very best uh, measurement performance from the system. We also have uh, a number of DC probes. Um, th th these probes allow us when the system is uh, fully enclosed with its top hat to get us um, uh, femme to amp level measurements. So when we use this machine um, to go to low temperatures or in an environment where you want to keep it uh, free of uh, light uh, or EMI emissions, uh, we tend to use an assembly that we call a top hat. Um, this enables us to have the system fully sealed up and at the same time we can, we can have it dark, we can have it light, we don't need to actually physically open everything up, we just have it, the system with the sliders that move around to the top of the machine and the microscope objective comes in through here. Central to the measurement solution um, is a piece of software called Wafer Pro Express, which is developed by Agent Technologies uh, in conjunction with Cascade Microtech. Um, this enables uh, you from the ground up to be able to make uh, accurate and reliable wafer level measurements. And you can see very quickly that the um, system has a nice wafer map, which is synchronized bidirectionally with the caliber with the um, probe control software. So die can be added in here and picked up by the software and vice versa. So it's uh, a very straightforward to do. Tests are very easy to configure in these test groups. Um, the software um, also works in conjunction with uh, our WinCal calibration software. WinCal calibration software uh, allows us to select from a, a number of calibration methodologies uh, depending on what we want. Most of the time we'll be using LRRM but it's, it's very flexible from that perspective. You can see in here I've used some uh, measurement marks. If I go back to my reference location, you can see I'm using this to determine my probe spacing and over travel. Um, and I can go and just check to make sure my location at the load looks good. So that looks nice for me. Once I'm satisfied everything's good there, I can just run the autocal sequence. It's gonna go, it's gonna do a separation do a couple of sweeps, compare the two, make sure they're similar to, to one another in certain bounds, which it's doing at the moment. Then it runs through the physical cal sequence itself, does a separate measurement, and you can see each one of these becoming uh, populated 
and I can look at the raw measurements afterwards should I choose to. Essentially what it's doing is measuring um, open measurement, through, short and load. Each one of these is required in this case for the LRRM calibration algorithm that we're conducting. At the end of all this, the error coefficients are calculated and I'm, I'm prompted to send it to the instrument. And the validation is carried out. As you can see in this case, the validation was acceptable. And then we will continue and measure some, some validations, other validation structures should we choose to. So in the past, a customer might say, okay, I've got a wafer uh, measurement need that I have. How do I go about this? Okay. Well, I, I go and find myself a probe vendor. Hopefully that probe vendor is from Cascade Microtech. And they, then they find an instrument vendor. Hopefully that instrument vendor is Agilent, but not always. And then they have to configure the system with our help, ideally, but configure a system in which all components are present. They get two sets of POs they have to cut, and then hopefully everything all comes together, and then they have all the, all the parts they need. And that's a utopian situation, which right. doesn't always occur. Um, when they don't have the components they need, that can cause some significant issues for them, particularly when time is so valuable uh, and there's difficulties actually obtaining uh, additional funding from their management. And then what's the guarantee that the solution that they, they have picked, that particular engineer has picked, is going to be functional and carry out all the, the testing needs that they have? Part of the value of the wave for level measurement solution is that that solution is guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So we guarantee that if they come to us with their need and it's um, accurately defined to us, that the solution that we provide will meet their needs. There will be no missing cables. And if there is a missing cable, that's our dollar. Mm -hmm. We will supply that and there'll be no lead time issues associated with that. They also want to know that the solution that they get has been installed correctly and it's meeting the, the measurement performance that, that one would expect. Now in the past, obviously we do our very best to ensure this is, this is true, but as part of this alliance um, we have looked in great detail um, at the offerings that we collectively provide. Um, so we have done a, a, a system of uh, factory measured performance uh, where we have gone and uh, in great detail uh, evaluated the measurement conditions of the, of the solutions and we've recorded that. Uh, in addition to that we also have um, a substrate which is not being used in the calibration process a, at all which we can validate against when, we, when the installer comes and, and gets the machine up and running and that has a very real value to the customer. Um, aside from the fact that you've got a machine which is correctly configured uh, and is uh, well installed, you also have a guarantee that the system's going to keep on running. <laughs> we, That's pretty important. One would hope, yeah. <laughs> Particularly if you've, you've signed your name on that dotted line. Yeah. Um, so we provide, um, uh, by default with these solutions, uh, a free year warranty. Um, so that's, that's all, all part of the service. Um, additionally, um, we have worldwide application support and worldwide service support which are dedicated to uh, supporting the solution. So the customer can be really confident that they've made the right decision.